always say be careful of what you post on social media uh, because it might come back years later to bite you. They are talking about Bafana Mahumela. So people went to his Instagram and they found out that seven years ago, he posted a post saying, if you want a woman to come to your home, it's either you have to be a good looking guy, be rich, or use chloroform, which means you have to kidnap her, right? When they say be careful of what you post on social media, uh, because it might come back years later to bite you, they are talking about Bafana Mahumela. So people went to his Instagram and they found out that seven years ago, he posted a post saying, if you want a woman to come to your home, it's either you have to be a good looking guy, be rich, or use chloroform, which means you have to kidnap her, right? And now this might incriminate him even more because To say that I had zero intentions about posting about Bafana's case. Whether he's found innocent or guilty, I wanted to remove myself from this case. Moreover, I did not even want to attend to it or even know about it. However, noticing that it's been passing my page for a while now, this is what I'm going to say from my own perspective. Black men in South Africa have this fantasy about white women, and Bafana is not exempt from that fantasy. He realized very young that white women did not give him the attention that he wanted from them. Normally, white women are attracted to men from their own race, and they rarely date outside of their own community for racial reasons, for cultural reasons, for systemic reasons, for family reasons. Many faculties can influence their decision in not dating interracially. What I'm saying initially is that this man took an opportunity into realizing his fantasy, into getting closer to a white woman. When a woman does not give a man what he wants, he takes it regardless. And for that, he's going to learn the hard way about the system in South Africa when it comes to black people. He's going to learn that he is disadvantaged as a black man. Whether he's also innocent or guilty, like I said in the beginning, it's irrelevant because he is not white and this is also one of the reasons why i do not involve myself when it comes to interracial anything especially when it involves white people because you will always be disadvantaged as a black person when you bring yourself closer to them the system will not represent you equally the system will always have you disadvantaged whenever you bring yourself closer to white people. This is why I don't like talking about these cases, interracial cases specifically, because race will always be involved in such cases. No matter the nature of the crime, cases will never be equally observed as they should be. Cases won't be naturally investigated as they should be. Cases will always be rushed to be sentenced so that they can get the person prosecuted. So he knew what he was doing, so it was not by coincidence. He took an opportunity into committing a crime, and for that he must go to jail and he should learn the hard way of what happens to black people when they do not learn quickly.
I think it's also time as a society we remind younger kids that regardless of your privilege, you are not exempt from being prosecuted as a black person. Your classism will not protect you from racism. You will be treated like a black person. Regardless of your English, regardless of how well spoken you are, regardless of how you can defend yourself, at the end of the day, you will be followed by the system that governs the country and you should understand that. Get that very quickly. You won't be protected at the end of the day. You can have 10 white friends and you're the only black person. At the end of the day, you will learn the hard way that you are black like the rest of us what i think what i know or what i assume about this case of bafana is irrelevant my whom that black man was given a private cell to protect him from other inmates. Now going back to the case of Bafana, he's not found guilty yet, right? However, he was chained on his ankles. Even though Nicholas, what he did, there was heavy evidence on him, he was never chained on his ankles. In fact, he's also appealing to be removed from prison. And I won't also be surprised for what he did. He won't serve up to four years in prison. In fact, as we speak, he's currently even appealing for that case so that he could be released. Let's also assume for a second that Bafana is found guilty. Do you think that he will be given a private cell? Do you think he will also be out in less than four years? Do you think his appeal will be taken to court as quickly as Nicholas Case was taken to court for what he did to that black girl? what started to happen in this democracy when it comes to the minds of black people they started to assume that just because they are going to the same spaces as white people they are on the same level as white people it does not matter how fluent your english is or your africans is it doesn't matter the area of opulence where you live in it doesn't matter how many white friends you have as a black person at the end of the day, you are still a black person who is governed under an oppressive system that seeks to destroy you. And just like that, your life can be destroyed. I guess this is why I said this is what you should also be teaching your kids as a black parent. Now, should anything go wrong, guilty or not, you will be one of the suspects because you are a black person in a white space with a stereotype that follows you and a justice system that's so unfair followed by this oppressive system that seeks to destroy black men, black people. Now let's not forget that it was a white woman, a white judge who said that grape was part of your culture as a black man. You cannot seek justice from that because automatically they see you as a criminal, therefore not equally representing you, not equally thoroughly investigating the case and trying to get you criminalized for the case that you may or may have not done.